If you're new to Pictavo, the amount of art available for you to use can be a little bit overwhelming. Let's go through the different types of art and see the capabilities of each different menu. So to get to the art menus, you'll just go to the art palette here. Anything that we've designed and loaded to Pictavo is going to show up in the library album. You'll notice that art is organized by art collection. We do this because we very intentionally design collections full of art to coordinate and complement each other. Let's go to scrapbook. Scrapbook is a great example of an art collection that contains both full color art and colorable art. For instance, this royal blue background up here, if I drag and drop that onto the page, it's blue. Now, say maybe we don't want that on the page anymore. We can just select the background head down here to the trash icon and it will go away. This next background looks like it's just black, but anything in Pictavo that has this colorful wheel next to it means that it's a colorable piece of art. I'll drag that onto my page and when I select it, an effects palette appears. I'll go into the colorize window and there it's going to show me the Pictavo color picker. This means that I can choose any color available within Pictavo to make this background. Now, if we know that we're gonna use this purple again later, we can go down here to saved colors, use the plus sign, and then it will be added to our saved colors library. If we decide, ooh, maybe that's not the purple that we want, we can go up here to this icon. That will bring us into this library window, and by simply clicking the color that we just added, we can get rid of it. Now, if we're pretty sure that we wanna use this background later in our book, we can go over here and favorite it. By clicking this little heart, it signifies that this piece of art is a favorite, and we'll talk more about that later. Another thing that you'll be able to see over in this panel is whether or not you've used a piece of art in your book anywhere. This little book icon here shows that this, in fact, was a piece of art that you have used on a page in your book. Now, maybe we've decided that we're not gonna use this background on this page anymore, as long as the background is selected and this palette is up, you can just use your trash icon and it's gone. Let's head back out and look at the accents menu. Once again, anything that we've designed and loaded, you're gonna find in the library album. And once again, everything is organized by art collection. Accents work the same way as backgrounds. Drag and drop and it'll appear on your page. With accents, you can move things around rotate, and favorite. If we don't want to use this piece of clip art anymore, again, the trash icon, and then it's gone. There are also colorable accents. The hand-drawn accent collection is actually 100% colorable. So if you're looking for an accent to use on your page and you want it to be a specific color, this is a great place to search. Drag and drop onto your page, again, the effects palette shows up, head to the colorize window, choose a color, and there we have an accent that is the specific color that we were looking for. There are a few other things you can do in the effects palette. We can add a drop shadow. We can adjust that drop shadow. We can also change the color of the drop shadow. And we can adjust the blur of the drop shadow as well. So that gives it a little bit different effect than the original drop shadow that was showing. If we head to the properties window, we can actually flip and rotate artwork here, as well as change the opacity to give it kind of a faded look. Now, if we know that we're gonna use this accent again, we can head over here and favorite, and then go back out to the first level of the art palette and take a look inside our favorites album. Pictavo is all about keeping you organized, so we keep everything separate in here as well. Here are the backgrounds that we favorited, and here are the accents that we favorited. If at any point in time you think you need to clean house because you're not using the things that you thought you were going to, you can simply unfavorite in this window, and when you go back, clean house. Now let's go talk about templates. Once again, library is full of templates that we've designed. And once you find something you'd like to use on your page, drag and drop. If there's anything on your page, Pictavo is gonna make sure that you wanna get rid of that. 
and there you have a template. Now, a lot of our templates have things on the page that are grouped together so that it makes it easy for you to move around. If there's anything in here that you need to edit, you can go ahead and click the ungroup icon, deselect, and then go ahead and edit by selecting anything that you need to change. Let's go to another page and head back out and take a look at snippets. Now snippets are like mini templates. It's just going to be part of a page. We'll go into our library and select one, drag and drop it onto our page. Just like with templates, everything is going to be grouped together. You just ungroup it and then go ahead and edit what needs editing. Now this particular snippet has a colorable piece of art in it, so we can head over here to the colorize window and customize it to match with our book. Let's head back out to the art menu. And I think we only have shapes and photo boxes left to talk about. Shapes are pretty self-explanatory. Choose a shape, drag and drop it onto your page, and then choose a fill color. Now the main difference between a shape and a photo box is that a photo box can hold an image. So go ahead and drag a photo box onto your page. And then if we head out to our photos folder, we can drag an image onto that photo box and the image will appear cropped to the shape of the photo box. 